Hello guys, welcome! So I'm about to watch a few Kate Bush music videos that I've yet to see. I am so excited. I am ready to be taken on this journey. We are starting off with the big sky. Let's get into it. These shots are awesome. Is she gonna get her hat? Uh, cap? Whatever she wants to call it. Wow. This is awesome! My favorite part of that song is still towards the end, when she just starts going off vocally and the guitar follows suit, and my goodness, what a fitting visual. Couldn't have imagined anything better. <laughs> Alright, next up is Hounds of Love. She in the trees. It's coming! When I was a child,
This seems dangerous. I'm so invested in her storylines, every single time. Oh, that vocal. That's probably one of my favorite music videos from her. I feel like it just perfectly encapsulated everything that the song is about. Her fear of being captured by love was realized in, <laughs> in a very fun way. Not at all the visual I was picturing when I heard the song for the first time, but I loved it. I really loved it. Next up is Suspended in Gaffa, which is a song I have not heard, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> Those background vocals are insane. Oh my goodness. That octave jump was wild. Wow. That transition was awesome. Not to run on 
Look at that girl in the mirror in between you and me. She don't stand a chance to get me away. That song was incredible. Loved the performance and the music video, obviously. <laughs> she killed it. But I was especially intrigued by the song because I feel like there's so much to it lyrically. From what I was able to pick up on, on my initial listen, I feel like, in a general sense, she's talking about uh, temptation and wanting things you can't have or <laughs> wanting things without putting in the work or at least something in the likes of what I just mentioned. I also loved the Garden of Eden references in the beginning and also the mention of Pandora's box. That song was filled to the brim with extremely fitting references. But also I loved the production and again her background vocals. <laughs> that song is just making me even more excited to listen to the Dreaming album. And speaking of the Dreaming, that is the last song we will be checking out today. Let's get into it. <laughs> I was not prepared for this. Oh, oh my gosh. So fun fact, uh, <laughs> if you didn't know, after I watch a Kate Bush video, I always take a look at the lyrics because she does stuff like this. <laughs> How am I to concentrate on the lyrical content while she's doing such things? And my, 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 what a sublime form of entertainment. Dreaming to be 
You know, sonically, this is definitely... Uh, hmm. What am I trying to say here? It's definitely a darker tone than what I'm used to hearing from her. There we go. <laughs> this song has a very specific edge to it that I can't quite put my finger on, but I love it. That's a very cool shot. First of all, that music video was lovely. Another awesome performance from her. She's just so good at what she does. But after looking at the song's lyrics, I must say I am so impressed by her as a lyricist. You know, as fun as the song is sonically, it has a very deep and very specific message. And when you actually look at the lyrics, you realize just how sad they are. That said, I would absolutely love to hear your interpretation of the song lyrically, so please do let me know your thoughts. That's all for this one though. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below so we can chat. Let me know what you thought of these songs and the music videos, and what you'd like me to react to next. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!